Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the video and welcome back to the C programming series. In this video, we're going to be looking at conditional statements and decision making. More specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the if statement. So we're going to be looking at the whole plethora. So you have your if, you have your if, your if statement, your if else statement and your else if statement. So all to do with decision making. And this is probably one of the most important videos uh, in this series, because as I mentioned, uh, I really looking at covering the most important bits of it. Um, so we have a few other things to look at probably in the next videos. I'm looking to complete this mini series as quickly as possible. We have loops. Uh, I want to take a look at loops, a recursion and a bit of memory management as well. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So when we're talking about if statements, an if statement essentially is used to make decisions based on the value of data or based on uh, the Boolean expression. All right. So I'll explain this as uh, right now. So uh, let me just uh, give you the syntax of an if statement first. And uh, I already have my boilerplate set up here with my main function just uh, on a very basic level. Nothing too complicated is going on here. Um, so with our if statement, we have the following syntax. So we have the if statement and then in brackets or parentheses is where you have your expression. All right. So I'll just type in or let me actually use the comment here. We have our expression and then or actually let me use this so we are not mucking up here. Uh, so we have our, ex our expression here and then we have our curly braces right over here. And uh, in in the curly braces is the, the code that will be executed if the expression is true. Now, when I say a Boolean expression, it's essentially testing whether the value is true or false. And I'll explain what an expression can be like uh, based on relational operators and your your and, and different operators, whatever you're trying to perform, whatever conditional, uh, whatever conditional operation you're trying to perform. So uh, this is where the code will be executed, code executed, uh, or we can just say executed if true, executed, um, sorry, executed. Uh, executed if true all right if true and then now when you talk about your else statement which is there to provide an alternative uh, piece of code if the expression is not true so you simply type in else after the curly braces uh, and you start your own uh, you start a new curly braces for the else statement and in here this is where the code will be executed if this expression is not true all right so you can say executed if not true and uh, essentially that is your if else statement. Now we then have our else if statement, which is very, very simple to understand. And uh, you're essentially testing the very same functionality. All right. So when you're talking about your else if statement, you're essentially testing various expressions uh, and seeing if they're true. And then you can also use an else statement as well to sort of uh, add uh, an additional functionality or additional uh, decision making. Uh, so the way I'm going to explain this is by creating a simple program that will take in uh, the age of uh, of the person and essentially test it uh, against the legal drinking age uh, in my country, which is 18. All right. So let me just do that right now. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this code uh, right over here, except the return statement. And we're going to start working on our program. So the program is going to incorporate everything that we've looked at so far. Uh, and is also going, I'm also going to use it to explain the, the conditional statements that I've just mentioned. So, uh, we are going to be accepting user input. So we're going to ask the user to enter, uh, their, uh, their age. So we're going to create a variable. We're going to, we're not going to initialize it. So, uh, we're sort of declaring it. So, uh, we'll, we'll call it int age just to keep things a little bit more transparent. Uh, so we're creating int age and now we need to prompt the user. So we're going to say print F and we're going to say, uh, please enter your age and of course this program will not make much sense because this is pretty much common sense but we're simply this is just to show you how uh, awesome this can be so print f please enter your age uh, and we'll give a little space there and we're then going to say scan f and in here since this is a decimal uh, digit that we're entering or a date uh, we're entering data that is going to be in decimal format and uh, after this we, we use the uh, the and sign and the variable itself to assign it to that variable all right so now the variable age holds the value that the user will input so now we can start off with our conditional statement so we're going to say if all right and in here is where you have your you can use your your operational uh, um, 
your relational operators sorry uh, to make your decision so we're going to say if age the variable age or the value of age is going to be greater than or equal to the age of 18 we're going to say you know what you can drink all right so we're going to print f and this is the code that will be executed if the value of age is 18 is greater than or equal to 18 so you can say you are old enough to drink and I know many of you have run into this program. This is a, a common program that is used to teach, uh, is used to teach students about conditional statements. All right. So you are old enough to drink. Um, and we can, you know, give it a bit of flavor by inserting a, uh, an exclamation mark right over there. All right. So that is what's going to be executed if the, uh, the person is, uh, is, has an age of, uh, 18 or older. And then if we were to use the else statement, this will essentially write off any other age that is lower than 18. Uh, uh, and of course, any other values that do not make sense. So uh, this is what will be executed. In, uh, so we can say print F. This is, what's, this is what is going to be executed if uh, your age is lower than 18 or, you know, something crazy. Uh, if you enter wrong character, so we can say you are uh, not old enough to drink. All right, and this is a very simple program that will hopefully explain how this works. So let us just save this and I'm going to compile this and uh, we're going to run it right now just to see how it works. So I'm going to run it and as you can see, it prompts the user to enter. Uh, let, let me just increase the font size here so you guys can see what's going on. That was a common request. So please enter your age. So I'm going to enter my age as 25, for example, and it's going to tell me you're old enough to drink. All right, now when we'll be taking a look at loops, I'll be showing you how to create a loop that will essentially, uh, after you enter your age, it's going to prompt you to essentially, uh, it's going to prompt the user uh, asking them as to whether they want to run the program again. That's, you know, the real beauty of loops. So I'm just going to hit enter to continue and we're going to run it one more time to test the different values. So let's say a kid comes along and is being asked what's your age, is going to type in 12 and it's going to tell him you're not old enough to drink. Pretty simple stuff, right? Well, now uh, we can sort of play around with uh, with another program, and that is uh, to test the else if functionality. So we are going to create another program that will input the marks of a user, and uh, we're going to test them and sort of gr grade them for them. So we're not looking at grades per se, but uh, total marks out of 100 marks. All right, so uh, I'm going to create another variable. We can get rid of all of this here, and I'm just going to create the variable int marks here. So int marks, we're not going to give it any value. And now we're going to say print f, uh, please enter, enter your, your marks. All right. And this is a program that makes a little bit more sense because a teacher can use this, you know, uh, for, for their own grading system to decide if a student has passed or not. But of course, these are very simple programs. So we're then going to scan f here and we're going to provide, uh, we're going to specify the value that we'll be entering. And of course, uh, I'm not expecting uh, marks to, uh, I, I, well, I, I do expect them to fit within uh, the ranges of an integer data type. So that should work just fine. And again, we, we need to make sure we're using the, the and sign there. Uh, and that is going to be, uh, it's we're going to save it into the variable marks. All right, so we can get started with our decision making. So we're going to start off with uh, the highest mark that someone can get. So we're going to say if, I like leaving a space there. So I'm going to say if marks, uh, are greater than or equal to 90 we can say uh, or we can say uh, we, we, we can have a pretty uncommon one here we can say if marks uh, are equal to 100 uh, that means you've got a perfect score we can say uh, printf you know you got a perfect score you got a perfect score you got a perfect score like so and then we can go ahead and use the else if statement now this is what i wanted to explain this the else if statement allows you to add your own uh, or another expression that can be tested so you simply type in your else if statement and then provide your condition or your expression here so we're providing a second expression so we're saying okay if the marks now are a hundred execute that otherwise if they are not a hundred i want you to execute this in the particular instance uh, in which we get another value or uh, other marks. So we can say if your marks are, uh, we can say if your marks are greater than or equal to 90, uh, and then we can use your, your, um, your, your, your logical, uh, you can use your logical operators 
to you can then use your and sorry you can then use your and symbols right over here to add an, an additional statement so you can say if so we're saying if marks else if marks are greater than or equal to 90 um, but less than 99 so you can say marks um, less than or equal to 99 uh, we can say uh, you got you did very well uh, we can say print f you did very well you did very well but missed out uh, by a few by a few marks all right so very very simple statement like that and then we can add our other else if statement here so we can say else if and then we say you know marks so these this is testing if you get marks greater than or equal to 90 but uh we can actually use uh, we're using and here we're providing the same statement the logical decision making here and marks are less than 99 so you know keeping everything within range and then we say here uh marks sorry about that marks uh are going to be greater than or equal to 80 and we will leave it at there because i do not want to get any more complicated this this can go forever and you know simply stating the decisions and the results uh, that you want to run in regards to the, the marks that you, you know the students might get so marks are going to be greater than or equal to 80 and marks are less than or equal to 89 so you know keeping it beyond the scope of 90 so we don't muck up the decision making uh, and then we type in here print f you did well you know you did well but you can improve all right so not bad there and that should be the program now of course i know i've missed out on all the other marks until zero uh, and you know we can also add the else statement here just to say if anything else entered here is you failed which i know is quite harsh on the students so we can out we can add that right over here so you can say else uh print f you fail you know you failed if you get anything lower than 80 you've you've just failed you know that's uh that's pretty much how it goes you know so <laughs> yeah i know that's uh, that's quite a high mark but uh let's test it out and let's see what happens here so i'm going to execute this and uh so i'm going to compile it and i'm going to run it so i'm going to enter my marks so let's say i got 95 you did very well, but you missed out on a few marks. Yeah, I know. Uh, so let's run that one more time. Uh, let's say I got a hundred. So you got a perfect score. So we know it's working now. Uh, and we're going to try that one more time with something a little bit over. So we're going to say I got 101. And it's going to tell us you failed. Now, of course, this is where other conditional statements like the case statement comes into play. Where, you know, we can also add this statement if we want to, by the way. So, you know, right after this one here... We can simply say, um, we can say, uh, else if, and we can say, uh, marks are greater than, are greater than a hundred. We can then say, please enter. We can say greater than a hundred and, uh, or we can say or, but in this case, yeah, we will, we'll just leave it to that. So we can say, if marks are going to be greater than a hundred, we can say print F, uh, please uh, enter valid marks all right and because that is the limit and of course you can do that with zero but i i can really doubt i really doubt if anyone got zero but in any case let's run this and see what happens or well, actually i should actually recompile it so we're just going to wait for that to compile and we're going to run it and there we are so please enter your marks if i get 102 it's going to tell me please enter valid marks uh run that one more time let's say i got 10 and it's going to tell us you failed pretty simple uh what if i got a an 80 here let's see if we got an 80 you did well but you can improve so yeah that's pretty much how decision making go uh goes uh in in, in terms of performing it with uh, the c programming language as i mentioned uh the else if statement can be really it can go really far if you go into nesting something that i look to cover when we start creating our own exploits but for now uh just stick to understanding how the if statement works the else if statement and also the else which you know sort of gives you um it gives you code to execute if all of the other expressions all fail uh, and of course you can keep this going until you have all the decisions covered in regards to uh, what a user may input and of course you can test this without you know user input by simply initializing a, ver a value uh, to the variable and you can test it that way all right so that's pretty much going to be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section uh, on my website or on my social networks. 
and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.